Tour Striker Nation, Martin Chuck here, and welcome to the studio at the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona. Tour Striker Nation, I've got a special. I've got the Tour Striker Training Club, the new version of the Tour Striker Training Club, and the Sammy at a great price. Now, let me explain to you the benefit of using these together or just using them individually. Now, most of you here, or you wouldn't be here, you know what the Tour Striker Training Club is. It was a revolutionary club developed with an elevated leading edge that makes people look at the golf club a little differently and go, hmm, well, it's a tool that you really can't pry the golf ball off the ground this way. It's intended through the dynamics of your swing to be delivered with a little bit of forward shaft lean. So that elevated leading edge gets leaned a little bit forward. Well, what's that do? It strengthens the loft on your face. Now, you do want to over strengthen it so the ball goes super low? Of course not but great players don't deliver the golf club at the same setup position. The golf club has weight to it. The club head weighs something, and when you are relaxed properly and you unwind your center, the club head plays catch up. It's in a state of lag. Lag is confused by most people because they think it's something to be held, 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 held. It's not. It's something to be to be welcomed and to allow this lag, or I call it a state of stress, to unstress into a golf ball. But before we get into this vertical condition, the golf ball is collected and the Tour Striker Training Club is an awesome tool that I'm proud to develop to help you understand the difference between address and impact before that club overtakes you and goes up into a finish. Now let me show you this cool little product inspired by my daughter. Samantha, that's why I call it the Sammy, and how these work together or with your own golf club to help you have better positions to strike your best shots. So in each package you get two individual Sammies. And Sammies are a device that can attach to various parts of your body and they have some loops on them. So in this situation, let me show you how we're going to use these. The simplest way to use these, the, the, the simplest way is simply to understand the role of the lead arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this Sammy to the, my shoulder, my lead arm, and then go ahead and take that loop and put my thumb through it right there. Now, what a better way you can hear the audible tone that the reel provides. Now when we make these swings, can I transport a structured lead arm rather than one that overbends? So let's go ahead and this would be number one. This is the simplest thing to do. Can we transport a structured lead arm when we hit shots? And then naturally on the follow through, as we go down in style, the lead arm is going to bend, the wrists are going to rehinge. That's a braking mechanism for the speed of the club to peacefully come to rest in a finished position. But think about how effective the Sammy would be as you are learning to develop your skills around the green. You know you don't want a lot of this chicken wing behavior. Well, if you put the Sammy in its most stretched out condition and you learn how to transport this condition, collecting golf balls as you use it, you know, collecting is a word I like to use rather than hit. So there's my comfortably long lead arm. I'm going to keep it long. I'm going to transport those shots. And I can hit a lot of successful pitch shots and chip shots with a long arm rather than one that's changing its dimension. So within, with peaceful eyes on the golf ball, an awareness of transporting the long Sammy string or basically a structured long arm, I'm going to have more success at the bottom of my swing. Now, some people, guess what we do? We put the Sammies on both shoulders. See, a lot of people have an overbending issue in their backswing with full shots. Let me explain. So as I take a golf club here, and I've got two of these on, you'll say, man, I don't have the nerve to do that on the range. Somebody might make fun of me. Well, when I go into my backswing, I don't want to let the Sammy's collapse completely into the reel. I want to feel like I can keep the strings nice and long as best I can rather than overbending them because if I overbend them, I only have a brief moment of time to line all that stuff back up into impact. And to be your most reliable golfer, 
you're going to want to have a little bit of structure in your backswing. So getting organized, I've got the Sammies on both my thumbs. I'm set up to hit a good shot here with nice ball location. I've got structure in my backswing. I'm not going to let these Sammies retract too much. And that was a nice crisp strike where I kept my trail arm organized and somewhat long in order to have less work to get back to a centered strike. Let me show you another great way to use your Sammy. Here's a cool way to use your Sammy. Take the reel and then loop it around the shaft and pull the reel right through that loop. And then give it a nice little tug and get it on nice and tight. So the Sammy is attached to the shaft about an inch below the grip. Now go ahead and use the gator clip and put it right on the bottom of your shirt sleeve. Now if you have a long shirt, go ahead and just grab some fabric and put it right there by your bicep. Now the feeling I want you to have, I want you to understand this behavior of this triangle, this wedge we've just created. See a lot of golfers completely lose this wedge. You can see there's the wedge and now it's gone. Well we don't want to lose that wedge right away. We want to feel like we can take that wedge and get it into a golf ball. Imagine if I call this the slice of pizza at the golf school to keep things really simple. If there's a bunch of pepperonis on this piece of triangle right here, that pizza, I want to get those pepperonis on the golf ball. That's going to help me square the face. I don't want to have those pepperonis aiming at the camera. That's no good and that's a shot that's going to flare out offline. So you can see this dimension here practicing and whether you do it with you know, graduating from pitch shots on up into full swings, this added element of the Sammy and the string connected here really gives people this nice awareness on how this golf club travels and down and rotates and squares in front and the body contributes to that behavior into a finish. It's a very, very nice way to feel how the wrists and everything work in unison to help square the club in conjunction with rotation. So that behavior, learning that sensation through a golf swing is critical for helping you play really good golf. Now let's talk about one other awesome feature on the Sammy and how it's going to help you have an amazing backswing. Check out this neat drill. You're going to take your Sammy, you're going to reach oh four or five inches above your belt line, grab some of the cloth in your shirt and you're going to put it right there on the seam of your shirt. You can kind of see where I have it. Now you're going to take your pinky finger and put it through the loop. Put it through the loop. And now you see what I have here. I have something that helps me monitor my trail arm. And you go, Martin, why do you want to do that? Well, people get lazy. As we get a little older, especially, we'll take any shortcut we can with our body in order to overstress our abs or something that might be tight. Well, as a coach, it's my job to provide awarenesses that may help you play better golf naturally. Well, guess what I see with a lot of golfers? Their backswing, instead of actually an athletic turn, it becomes this retracted fake motion with their arms where this trail elbow, like they're starting a lawnmower, it goes behind them. Rather than this behavior of actually rotating the body, and you can see where this string is. The string is outside my right elbow. I have to get my arm in this nice externally rotated position with structure. And to do that, I've got it, the awareness of this string brushing along my arm. So as I'm hitting shots, this is a fantastic awareness. I am letting my eyes rest on the golf ball. And as I go into my backswing, I feel where that string is. It's on the outside of my forearm. Now, that's hard work for my abs, and you can hear the little bit of distress in my voice. So as I hit these shots, I'm being super mindful of that. And what a great way to train the internal and external rotation of a golf swing. We don't want this behavior in our golf swing. We want that external feeling like we're throwing, skipping a stone across a pond, not the shot putting sensation of an elbow retracting behind us. So, that exercise, if you do it, it's going to help you a ton. Now here's the reason why the Sammy came about anyway. My coach, my original coach, George Newton, I looked to my right over there because there's a picture of George on the wall. George used to say to us when we hit chips and pitch shots, he'd give us a piece of string and we'd wear it kind of underneath our belt and we'd hold it in our lead hand, in my case my left hand. Now you can see I've looped it around the pinky of my left hand. Now in a chip shot and a pitch shot, too many people try to 
steer the ball down the line. George wanted us to rotate and let the club collect the ball in rotation, working from the inside out, letting the dog wag the tail rather than the tail wag the dog. So when you're using the Sammy on the left lead hip bone to the lead pinky finger, you'll notice that as I hit this shot, the Sammy, I'm working in a rotation where this behavior is synced up. I'm not standing still trying to stretch the club head down the line because that is an unreliable way to hit short, crisp shots. So the original reason, my daughter came to me one day and I, she had this she had this badge reel with a chapstick on it and she said, hey daddy, you can make a golf gizmo out of this. And I looked at it and it reminded me of when I was a young guy, I was probably 12 or 13 when George Newton taught me this. He said that the handle and the hip bone travel in the same rate and circular, circular around us. And I thought, well, wow, that's awesome. Well, in the backswing, naturally, you're going to pull some string out of the badge reel, but to sink and rotate, relocate on the lead side, it brought me back to a lesson I took well over 30 years ago from my mentor, and I thought, that's it. That's a great way to help people understand rotation and how to unify arm swing and body nicely in a golf swing. And it led to all these other drills that we use with the Sammy. So, in summary, that's a long video. Thanks for staying with me. This special, we've got the Sammy. You get two in a pack and the Tour Striker Training Club. You can use your Sammy with your Tour Striker Training Club or use it with your driver. Use it with whatever you want. But understanding impact, if you like to get out and practice once in a while, why not practice with certainty? Why not know if you're delivering the golf club properly or the variety of drills you can use with your Sammy to help you have a plan when you go to the driving range? So Martin Chuck signing off. Thanks for your time and God bless you.